Imagine donating a part of your body to save someone's life and then getting fired for it. This is the story of Debbie Stevens, a 47-year-old mother of two from Long Island, New York. Debbie made a decision that would change her life forever. She decided to donate her kidney to her boss in what's known as a paired kidney exchange. This isn't a simple process, mind you. It's a major surgery with inherent risks and requires a significant recovery period. In August of 2011, Debbie went under the knife, giving up a part of herself to save another. It was an act of kindness that most of us can only dream of carrying out. But little did she know, her story was about to take an unexpected turn. Debbie's act of kindness, however, was about to take a shocking turn. Debbie's recovery was expected to be lengthy, but what she didn't expect was the cold reaction from her employer. The aftermath of Debbie's noble act was as shocking as it was heartbreaking. After undergoing a complex surgical procedure, Debbie found herself on a challenging road to recovery. The process was grueling, filled with routine medical checks, physical discomfort, and emotional upheaval. Yet, Debbie was prepared for this struggle, knowing that her sacrifice had given someone else a chance at life. However, an unforeseen ordeal awaited her. Amid her recovery, Debbie was dismissed from her job. The reason? Her employers at Atlantic Automotive Group claimed she was taking too long to recover. The news was a blow, a stark contrast to the selfless act she had just performed. It was a devastating betrayal that left Debbie, a mother of two, grappling with the harsh realities of life. The public reaction to this news was swift and indignant. People were outraged by the apparent lack of empathy and gratitude from Debbie's employers. The story spread like wildfire across the internet, provoking a flurry of comments and shares. The general sentiment was clear. Debbie's treatment was unjust. In response to her dismissal, Debbie filed a lawsuit against her employer. She alleged that her firing was in violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Her claim was that her employers fired her due to her perceived disability after donating her kidney. The case, however, was settled confidentially. To this day, the judge or jury has not established whether Debbie was fired for reasons related to her recovery. The confidential nature of the settlement has left a cloud of uncertainty over the entire saga. The story of Debbie Stevens is one that leaves us questioning the very essence of gratitude and empathy. It serves as a poignant reminder of the potential consequences of selfless acts, the complexities of human relationships, and the unpredictable turns that life can take. The reason for Debbie's dismissal remains a mystery, shrouded in controversy and legal complexities. Let's delve into the foggy landscape of this unresolved mystery. After Debbie's dismissal, she took matters to court, alleging that her firing was in violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act. The crux of her argument? She was let go due to her perceived disability after donating her kidney. However, the case never reached a conclusive verdict. Instead, it was quietly settled out of court. The details kept confidential. This left the real reason for Debbie's dismissal a mystery, a question mark hanging in the air. This unanswered question sparked a firestorm of debate. Some sided with Debbie, viewing her dismissal as a clear act of discrimination. Others speculated that there could be more to the story, perhaps reasons unrelated to her organ donation. But without a clear judgment or an official account, the debate continues to swirl, fueling speculation and conjecture. What this saga has underscored is the importance of workplace ethics and compassion. It has shown us that the act of standing up for one's rights, even in the face of adversity, is vital. It's a reminder that our workplaces, places where we spend a significant part of our lives, should be bastions of respect, empathy and fairness. Debbie's story also shines a light on the power of altruism. Despite the unfortunate aftermath, her initial act of donating her kidney was an unparalleled gesture of kindness. It's a testament to the length some people will go to save a life, even when it comes at a great personal cost. Debbie Stevens, a woman who gave a part of herself to save another, was left with a bitter experience. But her story continues to inspire and provoke thought about the value of kindness, even in the face of adversity. If you've been captivated by Debbie's story and want to delve deeper into other unbelievable real-life tales, don't forget to hit that like button. Your support goes a long way in helping us unearth and share these remarkable narratives. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Debbie's story. Do you think she was unfairly treated? Or is there more to the story? Share your thoughts, theories and speculations in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button and ring the notification bell 
so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Thank you for watching and remember, your support helps us bring more unbelievable stories like Debbie's to light.